In this video, we are diving into a crucial topic of 3D assets killing your skills and stopping your growth. Should you rely on them or they secretly holding you back? I'll break down why I don't recommend using assets, whether they're really as bad as they seem, and most importantly, giving you the clarity and awareness you need to make the right choice. If you are serious about becoming a great 3D artist, stay tuned. This is something you need to hear. First, let's define what 3D assets actually are. In simple terms, assets are pre-made 3D models created by other artists. This could be individual model or entire assets pack sold on a various platform. Sometimes for a price, sometimes for a free. Many talented artists make a living by modeling assets and selling them online. A lot of people don't actually know how to use assets wisely. In this video, I'll break it down for you in just a few minutes, but the real problem some artists completely rely on assets, just rearranging or overusing them and call it as their own artwork. I don't get it, just copy paste someone else's work. What skill do you actually learn from that? Nothing. There is no real growth. I remember when I got trapped in the assets world myself. A few years back, I discovered the GitOps asset pack. It had over 500 kit based pieces, packed with mechanical and complex elements. I was working on a spaceship model and honestly looking back at it now, it looked like a complete garbage. But at that time, I was excited. Then came the tricky part, modeling the leg of the spaceship. Some kind of a mechanical stand. I looked at my reference and I thought, holy shit, how the hell I am supposed to model this? It felt way too hard and confusing. So I took an easy route. I opened GitOps, grabbed a piece of pre-made component, made a few adjustments and slapped it onto my model. Boom. Done. It was quick. It was easy. But what I didn't realize was that it was also killing my skills. I kept relying on assets for everything. At some point, I stepped back and take a hard look at my work. I wasn't struggling. I wasn't learning anything new. It felt too easy. And that's when I realized this wasn't helping me grow at all. So, I made a decision. I deleted the GitOps pack. No matter how painful or frustrating it was, I forced myself to model everything from scratch. And you know what? That struggle is where real growth happens. That's how we develop a new techniques. So keep this in mind. Asset won't improve your skills. Don't just slap someone else's work on your project and call it your own. Do the damn work. Now, some of you might be wondering, should we completely avoid using assets? Well, not exactly. There is a smart way to use them. Assets are fine if they are unrelated to a skill you are trying to develop. For example, I'm a hot surface artist. If I need a human model for scale reference or final rendering, I don't have to sculpt it from scratch. That's not my niche. In that case, using an asset makes sense because it doesn't affect my hot surface modeling skill. It all depends on what you're using assets for. If something isn't directly related to your core skill, assets can be a huge time saver. Because if you are a hot surface artist and you are relying on pre-made mechanical parts in every project, you are missing out on a crucial learning opportunities. 90% of time, avoiding assets is the best choice, especially when you are still learning. Once you gain more experience, you will naturally understand how to use assets without hurting your growth. But as a beginner or a student, the best thing you can do is practice, not stealing. So I hope you have a clear understanding of 3D assets. I've just removed a major barrier in your 3D modeling journey. Now you have a fresh perspective to truly develop your skill. Because, let's be real, too many people stealing assets, dropping them into their work and claim it as their own. They get stuck in an endless loop, never improving, never evolving. But we are not here to stay stuck. If you are serious about leveling up your hot surface modeling skill and want to keep getting valuable content like this, hit that subscribe button. If you found this video helpful, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'll catch you in the next one. Keep creating.